It's another instant reaction. The last instant reaction video that I did was for Dew on the Grudge. I really appreciated it as a horror film. I think I can understand why people call it one of the scariest films ever made, and it is technically brilliantly made. Um, I did come out of it feeling a little bit disappointed, and I think that was kind of unavoidable just because when something's hyped up that much, there's going to be a certain, you're almost building yourself up to fall down in a little bit, in a way. That's not to say I didn't enjoy it. I think it was a really good film. Um, and The Ring is another one of those iconic horrors that I really want to give a go today. I thought I'd better watch this one sooner rather than later because this weekend I have got a live stream coming up on Saturday nights that by the time this is uploaded that's going to be tomorrow. Please do tune into that, it's going to be really fun, it's the first one I've ever done, I'm going to be doing it with a friend of mine as well and uh, we're going to be talking about the spin-off crossover film between The, Rud the Ring and The Grudge um, which is I'm quite looking forward to talking about it, should be quite a bit of fun. Without further ado, today we're going to be watching The Ring. Like I said before, if you want to watch the film first and then watch this after, that probably is a good way of doing it. If not, I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, let's get, let's get uh, spooky. Okay, again, quite a bit of a mixed bag overall. Um, <laughs> like that had some really genuinely effective jump scares in, that, in there though, which was, they were so great. I think overall it's really good. Like, I'm glad I've seen it and I think it, it's definitely worth seeing for, again, same as Duon was, it's definitely worth seeing for its cultural significance in uh, modern horror as well. Uh, director, the director, Hideo Nakata, I definitely want to check out his other works. I've heard Dark Water, uh, which is also on Shudder, which I've just watched, uh, with a, which I've just watched The Ring on. Uh, I've heard that's even more terrifying, <laughs> so I'm definitely I want to give that a go. I think in terms of its positives, I think particularly the first three quarters of an hour I thought were absolutely brilliant. It had some really effective spooky parts in there. Uh, the concept is great. It's really simple yet quite effective. Basically just as simple as there's a videotape uh, that if you watch you get a week to live, tells you you have a week to live and then you're going to die. And that's basically the plot. Um, but it focuses on a particular a woman and her ex-husband who investigate it after they've watched it and learn about the girl that's in the video and her her death and why it happened and her background. It's a bit of a mystery thriller almost. 
definitely, I think the parts that are horror definitely work really well, uh, particularly the sort of twist end ending that is kind of iconic now, but just in case you don't know it, I won't spoil it here, of course. Um, is still really effectively done. It's visually, the tape in particular is just really creepy. And even the more times that it's played over the film, it never gets less creepy. It's genuinely quite um, unsettling. And I think that's what this film really nailed was the unsettling atmosphere. In terms of where it doesn't work quite so well, there is probably about a half an hour period in the middle of the film where it kind of starts to drag a little bit. It's only an hour and a half long film and it does feel a little bit over long, I thought. Um, and the, the reason it drags, I think, is it because it gets into much more drama territory and there's hardly sort of any real horror suspense going on during that middle segment. Um, it doesn't detract from the rest of the film. I think it's still worth seeing for the parts that are really effective, but I did just find it sort of dragged in the middle a little bit there. And also there's probably one of the, the most unintentionally funny things I've seen in this one um, that does involve a great thwack sound effect. <laughs> that was just that was just brilliant. And um, again, it's not so it's not so much a bad thing about the film, it was really funny. Overall, I yeah, I, I, I pretty much, I, I did enjoy it. And I think if you're interested, but definitely go and check it out. Um, I'm glad I've watched it in preparation for watching Sadako versus Kyuku. Kyuku. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll definitely be posting a rating and everything on my letterbox. Stay tuned for more instant reviews. See you later. Thank you.